I think being a woman is really cool, and I thought it would be a blast to share that with a girl. You know, I was 20, then I was 30, and now I was 40. And, and they said, well, you know, hey, Corbett, Corbett would want a baby. And I was like, yeah, I want a baby. Get some, oh, we should get some grapes. OK, we can get some grapes. Let's go check out what's down here. We'll and out. my friends were just like, <laughs> you can't be serious. You're 42 years old. You're going to do what? You're going to adopt a baby with cerebral palsy. You don't know anything about this kid. You know nothing about her family. You know nothing about what's going to happen to her. I love my apricot. You'd like to taste a dried apricot? Okay. I was like, well, I just don't have a belief of a cruel God. I feel like if God says, a baby is falling from the sky, you're just supposed to say, OK, and put out your arms and catch. What do you think, Mitch? God. This is making this part of my life that I was sort of coasting for the last five years. I thought, oh, well, you know, I guess everything's not perfect, but I'll just kind of... And now, like, no. If that's not good enough for her, if she deserves better than just coasting, then I deserve better than just coasting. And that was a side effect I really didn't expect. Oh, what can I see over there? Should we shop or dance? Dance. Dance! Oh. When my daughter was born, the government went to her birth mother and said to her birth mother, listen, we're never going to find a home for this kid, and so you just need to sign these papers and put her in an institution. Three times this young woman just said, no, I really love this baby, and I am not going to let that happen to my kid. No, my kid is worth it. Disabled or not, my kid is worth it. You promised me a home, this kid is gonna get a home. And then, as soon as she finally convinced them that she was never gonna give in, that's when they found me. The reality is that I live in a culture of people who look like me, and move through space like I do. And I really thought that it would be really cool to have a kid to share that with. In her world, kids in her world now know, and parents now know, oh, one of the things people in wheelchairs can do is be a mother, which they didn't have a clue about before we kind of came along. <laughs>